Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cooking with Jacob. Hello, my name is Jacob Forrester, your host, and welcome back to Cooking with Jacob. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Today we are going to be making the famous, the amazing pumpkin pie. So, for a few things that we're going to need for today, we're going to need a little baking dish. Usually you want to use a pie tin or something of that sort. Today I'm using a tart dish so that it's easily able to come out of the tin when you're all done. But other than that, you're going to need to get yourself some ginger snap cookies, some brown sugar, a little bit of ginger, salt, pumpkin puree, nutmeg, half and half, butter, unsalted, eggs, and you know what, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and start by beginning with the crust. So let's go ahead and grab all of our ingredients for this. So in order to start, we wanna weigh out six ounces of our ginger snap cookies. So let's go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and turn on our scale here. Let's go ahead and set this bad boy to ounces. Take our emulsifier, chopper, pureeer, whatever you want to call it, and we're gonna go ahead and reset the scale. Zero ounces, and make sure that we're putting in six ounces of cookies. Not more, not less, just the right amount. We might have to throw some cookies around. All right, we got our six ounces of cookies set up and ready to go. So now, we need to get our brown sugar in the mix. For the brown sugar, we want one tablespoon here. So get your dark brown sugar, and we're gonna go ahead and also weigh this out here. Nice even top, throw that on in, and I've already pre-weighed some of the ginger that is needed, freshly ground of one teaspoon. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this in as well, get that extra spiciness to the crust. Be really tasty, really delicious. So now that that's all weighed out, turn this bad boy off. And we can throw the lid on this, throw it on our mixer, and we're gonna wanna blend this up until it's very fine overall. And you'll see here, we've got a nice crumbly consistency to our pie crust. So from here, we wanna melt some butter. That way it has some sticking power to get it rolling for a couple more pulses. So real quickly, you just wanna melt one ounce of butter just in your microwave, wherever you have it, and go back over to your mixture over here. And this is where we're gonna be pouring in the butter and we're gonna be mixing it just a handful more times so it starts to stick. So let's take the lid off of this, add in our melted butter at the top. Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. And close that lid, we're gonna pulse it just a few more times. Just so that everything starts to thicken up. to get a little crumbly in there. And sometimes you might need to go in and push down some of that wet crust. That way it's all mixing in evenly and properly. Let's close that up one more time for a couple more little pulses. And from here, we have a beautiful wet crust that is definitely gonna stick now. So from here, we can go ahead and take our baking tin, or in my case, again, we have our... Oh no! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 
This tin might be a little too big. <laughs> but we're gonna get in here and we're gonna start pushing this down and forming our crust. So go ahead and work on that for a moment. That way you're just packing it in, getting the bottom nice and uniform. And you also wanna push it up towards the top a little bit as well. That way your side crust also is forming. And you know, it's totally okay if you mess up here and there. You just start again and work your way up. All right, and from here, you should have a nice base with a little bit of a lip to it. If you're using a normal pie tin or a, like a glass pie container, this is gonna be much easier. I am doing it the hard way and I'm absolutely failing at this pie crust. So now that our oven is preheated to 355 degrees, we wanna go ahead and throw it in there and bake it for about 10 minutes just to kind of pre-cook it to get it kind of all settled. So I'm gonna to toss this in the oven. We're gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes and while that is working, we're gonna start preparing our filling. So hang tight. Next up on the dock, we wanna get our 16 ounces of pumpkin puree into a saucepan. We're gonna put that on the stove here and just put that on a medium just to simmer it. Gets up to temperature and we're gonna be stirring occasionally. That way this can thicken up, get a little bit warm and we're gonna get this thing rolling. So we've got again our pie pie crust in the oven. We've got our pumpkin puree up on the top here. And from here, we're gonna start adding in the ingredients while this cooks. So now that we've been stirring the puree for just a little bit, just the puree mix, we are ready to take the pie out of the oven, just the crust. So with this guy, it's been about 10 minutes. Whoo, look at that. We can go ahead and take out our pie crust, which is starting to get a little golden, a little browned up, and a little bit more solidified. So we've got it right here. You can go ahead and set this off to the side, place it there, close that oven back up, and keep that at the 350, and set this over here out of camera. So now that that has been going and has been cooking for a little while, we can let that rest for about 10 minutes and we can return to our puree. So I've already pre-measured out half a cup of half and half. We're gonna go ahead and add this into our mixture. And if you're a professional like myself, you're gonna spill all over your counter, all over your tabletop. It's a fantastic time. And in addition to that, you're gonna add in half a teaspoon each of ground nutmeg and kosher salt. So we're gonna go ahead and just mix these to combine for a couple minutes over the heat. Once it's all kind of been mixed together and solidified, then we can take it off of the heat and set off to the side to rest for about 10 minutes along with our pie crust. So as you are mixing this together, you're gonna to get a nice orange creamy consistency, much different than just the puree itself. This is gonna get all of the spices, all of the delicious things pulled together. And you're a pro, you're a pro, you can do this. You can mix together three to four ingredients in a saucepan. It's very easy to do, it's very simple. So I'm gonna let this simmer for just a couple more minutes. And in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and grab a large mixing bowl. So with this here is where we're gonna add our other components of the pie filling, including our eggs, And a couple other ingredients, which I'll tell you here in just a moment. And so in our large mixing bowl, we want to get ourselves three quarter cup of brown sugar. Again, the same brown sugar that we used for our crust. So I'm going to go ahead and get a half cup here of our brown sugar. Get this going. As one half cup plus a one quarter cup, which will equal, as you all may have guessed, three quarter cups of brown sugar. And then from here, we want to get our eggs. So for the eggs, we're gonna get two whole eggs and one egg yolk to combine these together. So let's crack these bad boys open and get it started. All at the same time, 
you're constantly checking on the pie filling that is cooking. Make sure that it goes to a nice simmer before you take it off the heat. So let's take one egg, let's crack it. And we're just gonna dump this straight into the bowl. Egg yolk and all. If you have any eggshells that happen to go into the mixture, make sure you take those out. You don't want some crunchy filling. Egg one is done. On to egg number two. Smack it, break it, open it, toss it in. Go ahead and throw that away. And for egg number three, again, this is just going to be our yolk. So we gotta be a little bit more careful with this one. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this. I'm gonna do it over the sink, just to be a little extra careful. If I mess up, you know what, that's okay. That's why I have a whole pack of eggs here. <laughs> and you're gonna to wanna to separate the yolk from the whites. And if you mess up like I did, you just wanna get a whole another egg. <laughs> so let's do this again. Crack, open, there goes the whole egg again. On to the next one. <laughs> egg. Correct. Open. Careful. Careful. You need to be careful with this one. You want to get just the whites out. There we go. Just the whites out. And now we have just our yolk. We can get that straight into there. A very important step before you continue from here. Make sure you wash your hands. Raw eggs is no joke. But now that we've got the eggs and all of the wet mix here in our bowl, we're gonna go ahead and whisk it. But before we do, our puree is just about at a simmer, so we're gonna keep an eye on that and almost take it off of the heat. But for now, let's go ahead and take this and we are just gonna go ahead and whisk this up until it is nice and smooth, getting that brown sugar, getting those eggs, getting it all emulsified, into a nice consistency. If you have a hand mixer, you're welcome to use that. If you have a table mixer, you're also welcome to use that. If you have a hammer, you can just smash everything together. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. But we're gonna go ahead and continue to mix this up until it is nice and smooth as possible. This may take a couple minutes. And I noticed that our puree is at a good level here. So I'm gonna take this off the heat, turn this off, and we're gonna continue the mixing of our eggs and brown sugar. This may take just a couple minutes, but it's well worth it. Good exercise. And you might break up a sweat right before Thanksgiving when you're gonna eat tons and tons of food. It's good for you, it's good for you. All right, and now that you've been mixing for a few minutes here, just to make sure that this is nice, good consistency for you, uh, you're just gonna want to go ahead and add in now your 10 minutes cooled pumpkin puree that's been simmering. Again, you would have taken this off the heat, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then you can go ahead and just dump this whole thing straight into your mixing bowl. So from here, bring this bad boy up top. We're gonna go ahead and just dump this in while mixing to make sure that this has a good mix overall. The reason you want this to wait about 10 minutes before adding it is so that you don't just immediately cook the eggs that you just put into your brown sugar mixture. So this allows it to cool enough, significantly enough, that you're not getting an immediate cook as you're going into this. Uh, make sure you're scraping in all of your puree. That way you don't get to miss a single bit of it. Make sure your ratios are correct. And once this is all dumped in, we're gonna give this one final mixture between all of the ingredients for the filling. So once this is sufficiently mixed in and mixed together, then we can actually work and bring our pie crust back from the dead, right in center, putting it on a baking sheet 
Yeah, just in case. Just in case my pie floods over, does anything crazy, doesn't destroy my oven. But once this is all sufficiently mixed, and I think it actually looks pretty good, uh, we can just dump this straight in. There's my timer. Oh man, this is looking, this is actually looking great. <laughs> I did not expect this to go well. <laughs> But make sure you mix down all the sides. If there's any lumps, try to get them out. Get that whisk in there real good. Get a good mixture overall. But now that that is sufficiently mixed up, we can just go ahead and dump this straight into our pie. Right into the crust there. I'm just gonna start from the middle and then work my way around the sides. Get a good consistency and make sure that it is filled up to the corners. What you want to be careful of, and what probably won't happen with you, but definitely happened with me, is spacing. I'm using the wrong size pie crust, <laughs> so this is just a disaster right now. But we've got our filling in. I'm gonna to try to even this out as best as possible. Basically, I'm overflowed past the crust at this point, but say lovey. We are doing our best. And I think this actually looks pretty darn good. So when you are good and prepared, you've evened everything out to make sure there's no spots of lumpage, extra filling, and it's all even across the pie, you can go ahead and put this right back into the oven, still at 350 degrees. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So let's open this up. Got my little oven squirrel. Let's me grab the rack really easily. We're gonna go ahead and grab this and very carefully and easily put this in. Close this back up. And I'm gonna let this bake at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. I'm gonna periodically check on it in the last 10 minutes to see how it's going. We want the edges to be firm and the middle needs to have a little bit of jiggle to it. So. While you're waiting, sit back, relax, enjoy a Coke Zero or some other beverage of your choice, <laughs> and enjoy the fruits of your labor. But I'll be back once this pie has finished cooking. We'll go ahead and see what this thing looks like. But before we do make that cut, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> uh, this is a nice little bit and a gag uh, for Thanksgiving. But uh, if this is your first time on my channel, hello, this is very awkward. <laughs> This is not what I normally do, and I hope you are enjoying it regardless, though. Um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful holiday and a happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours. I'm making this pumpkin pie to bring to my family. Hopefully it will turn out well and delicious and everybody enjoys it. If it doesn't, you know what, that's okay. But I'm not a professional cook here, but I'm gonna pretend like I am. Uh, so thank you all for watching, and we'll be back in momentarily with our fully cooked pie. All right, the pie has been done, it's completed. Let's take it out of the oven. Let's take a look and see how this thing is doing. I think we're pretty much there. I think we are pretty much there. So let me pull this up here. Whew, it's hot in the kitchen. All right. Oh, that is, I think that's perfect, actually. Here, let me see if I can lift this up hopefully get a very quick look at this pumpkin pie. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, it smells great. The middle has a little bit of a jiggle to it. So I think that's perfect. And yeah, it's like a nice deep dark orange. Let me throw it too, too thick in there. Can I see how it's doing? Sides seem good, holds up. Middle is a little gelatinous and that's I think perfect. So that's it for the cooking of our Thanksgiving pumpkin pie. This has been a <laughs> really fun thing to actually make. I actually really enjoy cooking. Um, this is my first time I've ever baked a pumpkin pie. Uh, so I'm actually surprised this came out the way that it did. We'll have to see how it is when it has settled. Uh, you're not supposed to serve or do anything with it for a few hours. So it's currently, I think, midnight right now, my time. Um, yes. it's. it's it's already nighttime, it's already Thanksgiving day, technically. So I'm gonna let this sit overnight, go over to my family's house and we're gonna try it. So I'll make sure to leave a comment in the video 
uh, tomorrow after I get a chance to try it for myself. But uh, I'd love to hear what you think about the pie, about this video. Uh, again, have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving to those of you who celebrate. But happy holidays for the rest of you. And thank you for coming along for this video. I'm making a delicious and tasty pie for you all. There's my timer for my for my pie to get out. I took it out a little bit sooner than the 45 minutes in case anyone's curious. But thank you to Alton Brown for the recipe for this pie. Uh, I usually follow his stuff whenever I'm making uh, baked goods because he's very precise and he gives like exact measurements and everything. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun time making this video. So I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you all so much for coming out for this. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment down below what you think of my pie making abilities. If you are gonna make your own pie, maybe for the upcoming holidays. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. They're gonna be gaming content. <laughs> not more cooking probably for a while. Uh, but of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. <laughs> and I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.